What is up everybody, it's Jake here back with another video and this my friends is a brand new OnePlus 5T that I bought a while ago. Uh, haven't had any time to do a video on it, but here we are. Um, so this is a uh, 128 gigabyte model, so 8 gigs of RAM. That's right, 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy fast. And it's also very beautiful. Alright, so now let's get to the unboxing. Now, like I said earlier, this is the high-end model, so 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage. And there's also a lower end model, 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage, and that one is only 500 bucks. Uh, whereas the high-end model is 560. So what I did was I grabbed myself a little knife and start cutting. Now sitting on top of the box is obviously the OnePlus 5T, which is being held onto another little box, and uh, we're gonna set that aside for now. Underneath that is obviously your charging cable. It's the OnePlus Red Signature charging cable. Very high quality, and uh, it's a USB Type-C. Definitely appreciate it. And of course, you have your dash charging brick, which charges your phone super fast. So now let's take a look at this box right here. Uh, takes a little force to pull the phone off, but once it's off, it's off and it feels really, really nice in the hand. What with the OnePlus 5T is one of the best built phones of 2017. Uh, I will say that it's a little thin. Uh, you might want to slap on a case. I don't have huge hands. And I think it's uh, a bit too thin and you know conveniently OnePlus gave you a free case and it's awesome to see that because uh, OnePlus is already pricing their phones relatively low and uh, the fact that they still give you a free case which is very impressive and I hope that uh, other manufacturers can do that although I wish that OnePlus can throw in a pair of headphones in the box as well. Alright, so I just got the phone set up here and uh, as you can see, it looks a lot different than back when it, when it was stock because I changed everything basically. Uh, I changed the wallpaper, the background color and everything. I changed the theme to the dark theme because this is an AMOLED screen and in order to get the maximum battery life, this is what you gotta do, right? So this is not the look that you're gonna get out of the box. and. You know, that's the point, that's the whole point of having an Android phone, right? You modify them, you customize them, you make them exactly the way you want it to be. And that's exactly what I do here. But anyways, uh, the first thing I want to demonstrate to you guys is the face unlock feature. And uh, one word to describe it, it's crazy. All right, take a look. So I have it set to not to unlock the screen uh, until I swipe up. So. Uh, what you're gonna see here is you see that little face there and once it detects my face It shows that the phone is unlocked and did you guys see how fast that was? Let me let me show you guys again See that face and once I turn it to me boom unlocked It's crazy and you know, it's not just the face unlock the fingerprint is also crazy It's like the second you touch it the phone is unlocked and I love that I love that because uh, it makes me feel like this phone is like it's pretty much unlocked while I have it on me and it makes it very convenient and I've been playing around with this phone for a while now and uh, the first impression that it gave me is how fast and how snappy this phone is like everything is so smooth uh, the software is super easy to use. Well, it still has the OnePlus software on top of Android, but it's basically a super light skin on top of Android uh, 7.1.1 at this point. And the whole reason why I bought this uh, 8 gigs of RAM model is because of its multitasking. And um, when I say multitasking, I don't mean like uh, using two apps side by side, but of course, uh, it, uh, this phone does that very well too. But, you know, just switching between apps, it's super snappy now. As you can see, I've got like a few apps in the background here. And you see how it keeps everything open? Like it doesn't matter 
which one it is uh, the games is already loaded up and Facebook loaded up everything is super easy to use and super fast and that's one thing that I think OnePlus does the best or one of the best and OnePlus also has a uh, screen off gesture feature so it's basically uh, while the screen is off you can draw stuff on the screen to uh, turn on certain things so uh, right now I can draw an M to open up the flashlight as you can see here and you draw one more time to turn it off and V for video it jumps right into the camera and it's ready to record a video as soon as you hit the red button and I think a W is open up the front facing camera and that's all I have for now uh, it's convenient but sometimes like it doesn't it doesn't recognize the gesture very well like sometimes it, it, it's not successful and you have to put that in again which could be fixed uh, via software updates but we'll have to wait on that let me just run down some of the specs of this phone now most of it you can look up online but while we're here might as well just do it so snapdragon 835 adreno 540 8 gigs of ram 128 gigs of storage 3300 million power battery uh 1080p 18 by 9 aspect ratio display and it's an amulet so that's awesome and there's two cameras at the back uh, the main camera is a 16 megapixel and the secondary low light camera is 20 megapixels which performs slightly worse than the main camera in low light definitely interesting uh, but i'll explain all of that in my full review oh and the sim card slot is a dual sim slot so you can put two sim cards in here if you need to and for software um, oxygen os 7 or 4.7.6 on top of Android 7.1.1 Nougat or Nugget, I don't know. And overall, the OnePlus 5T is one promising phone. Uh, my first impression of it is mostly positive, except for the camera item. I'm not sure how I feel about the camera. There's no OIS, and the picture quality that I've seen is not the best. But I bought this phone for software experience, so I guess I'm not gonna worry about the camera too much. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the OnePlus 5 down in the comments below. Subscribe for the full review and uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.